Today is National Donor Day, and it's a surprising fact, but every day at least 20 people die while waiting for a life-saving transplant. Recently, students and faculty at Montgomery Bell Academy decided to do what they could to lessen that number by holding an organ and tissue donation drive, as you'll see in tonight's school patrol. Oh, yeah, you can sign up. You can sign up. It's lunchtime here at Montgomery Bell Academy. How are you doing? Are you signed up? And hoping to take advantage of the traffic in the foyer. Have you signed up? I am. I signed up uh, Monday at lunch. Our seniors, Joseph Spear. And since it's called Lifesavers, we've got some Lifesavers out. And Wesley Hall. You are an organ donor because you actually have that, that heart right already, there. I'm already an yeah, you're already an organ donor. Lifesavers is the name of the drive students are supporting. But he's just signing up on the website. Organized to sign up. It's actually not that hard at all. Organ and tissue donors. Once you let them know about the need, you know, 115,000 people on the waiting list. Here at the school. As long as you know how to type, you can sign up. They totally see it, why they should get involved and why they should sign up. He actually has a learner's permit. This plan originated with MBA teacher Annie Williams. This Williams, for example, it was an 18 year old passed away whose liver, you know, kept her alive and allows her to, you know, be with her daughter, so. Do you have a permit? I do. Can I see your permit? My uncle, actually, when he passed away, he was an organ donor, and he was able to save four lives. Do you have your MBA license with you? There were other connections for students as well. Two MBA alums, Stephen and John Eisen, their father was a liver transplant recipient back in 1991. And for me, that was just a really profound experience, seeing how he was able to help people even after he passed away. Miss Williams here, she received a liver, and my dad received a, a double lung transplant, so it's the similar process and it took him six years to actually receive a double lung transplant. Wesley's experience hit even closer to home. He unfortunately passed away in 2015, but he lived five years after. So this really means a lot to my family. You're not an organ donor. Damn. Well, that's perfect. Damn, you can sign up. My mom's a physician spreading the word about organ donation. If uh, anything were to ever to happen to me, I would want, you know, the chance to sort of rescue okay. somebody else. Teacher Jordan Frederick. Got that heart shape over there on the right. Signed up to be a donor because he used to ride a motorcycle. People simply don't think about it. That some call a donor cycle. Obviously, the chance of losing your life sort of is a little higher since you're pretty vulnerable on the road. So It is a weird topic, you know, thinking of yourself as being dead. A heart transplant, a liver transplant, a kidney transplant, I'd want somebody to have that opportunity. And of course, when you're an organ donor, you don't really need those things after you're gone. It takes about a minute or two, and all you have to have is your driver's license. But when you're young, the possibility of dying isn't something that you want to think about. If you just remove that part of it. And so you can still sign up. Really think down to the basics. You know, if I die, either my organs are going to, you know, be buried with me. Someone could need my organs. If something were to ever happen to me, God forbid. Or they could go to someone else and prolong their life. It's really just that simple. Registered. You're registered. Congrats. One organ donor can save as many as eight lives. Lifesavers at MBA signed up at least 60 new potential donors. Now that drive has moved to Harpeth Hall. It's a great program. It really is. Glad it makes to you see think. Young people getting involved in yep. it.